Everybody, it's Tyler here at Haunted, checking in team number 9364C, speed of light, or uh, 299792458 meters per second. Uh, speed of light, by the way, two event wins already as they're coming into Haunted, so looking absolutely phenomenal. Just watched them on the field. I love their lift and kicker mechanism. Got a couple other really cool things for me diving into as well, too, including a uh, drop down that does a little bit more than just pushing the tri balls. Let's learn more about speed of light coming up here on Pips and Parts. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. The Robotics Education and Competition Foundation provides fantastic programs for students from elementary school all the way through college. These include VEX, Aerial Drone Competition, Online Challenges, JROTC, Grow Powered, Scholarships, Certifications, and so much more. To discover these exciting opportunities, visit RECF.org and get connected. Parker, let's start off on your robot, just talking about this awesome lift mechanism as we go through. Uh, watching on the field, I love how it is rising up like it is, but you got a lot of cool stuff from sensors to other drop downs. Run me through some really cool features of your bot. Yeah, so um, obviously our lift um, is very important to our design. Um, we want to be able to shoot over any opponent that has some sort of blocking mechanism, um, and it kind of gives us a high competitive advantage. So. Um, one thing that we wanted to be able to do with our lift is we didn't want that one motor to just go to waste, so we have a uh, ratcheting mechanism that's active using this um, pneumatic right here. And so what we do is once our lift is all the way up, engage, and then move down, and I can lift from here. And so um, that's a roughly a C tier hang. Um, and to go along with that, we like I mentioned earlier, we wanted to be able to do multiple functions with um, with the lift. So uh, on top of it is our uh, kicker mechanism right here. And so this is a 72 tooth to a 24 tooth. I believe that's 33 RPM with a 100 RPM motor. And so we have this um, foam piece right here that when we shoot, the foam piece hits it roughly along the bottom kind of gives it a nice high pitching arc that um, can shoot over blockers that are a few inches taller than our robot. Um, one of the nice things about um, our kicker mechanism and the arc is that depending on the height, it changes the angle of the platform. So for skills for say, we could have a lower arc, which means that we could shoot lower shots, less likely to have any variance rolling around. But for match play, it's uh, effective in um, kind of scatters them in a nice scorable pattern. And that's just being done from the four bar uh, height, essentially, that there's nothing else like softer wise that's having that uh, angle change? Yeah, I mean, um, it's a slightly offset four bar, uh, like you mentioned. So um, rather than completely parallel C channels, we have one slightly offset, um, as you can see. And then from the bottom here, while I have it up, you can see that our we have these standoffs, kind of shaped like that. So um, you might notice we're really back heavy, right? Um, a lot of mechanics in the back, and it can be kind of difficult to um, uh, move around uh, with hanging and stuff. So we have these standoffs, nice and smooth. So when a bar's right here, when we start clamping down, it'll slide into position and be nice and centered on a robot for that nice hang. And then um, these zip ties here, um, they're to prevent if we were to drop a tri ball or something, you know. Um. Well, as you get them out easy enough, right? So you're not yeah, double possessing? Yeah. Totally. I got to ask you on here, when you were, uh, you mentioned that you wanted to have that multi-purpose lift where it could do many different things for it. When you were first analyzing the over-under game, is that something right away you're like, hey, we definitely want to have this type of superstructure in our robot? Or how did you come about wanting to actually have so much within your lift area? Well, um, Actually, uh, at our first tournament, All of America, we uh, started out with just an intaking robot. It was um, just a simple intake, and we would shoot them out the front. Um, that wasn't very effective. A lot of teams had a lot more success with shooting. They're able to get them all in front of the net, which was something really nice, and they were able to push it over. But like, um, one of the downsides to um, shooting at Mall of America was that everyone's shooters were really low um, and kind of straight. Um, they were trying to get them in the goal um, early in the season, which wasn't very effective. 
but those shots were easy to block, um, and that's kind of what led us to um, this lifting mechanism. I, I actually, from watching your last match, I thought it was really interesting. I actually saw you blocking a few of the tri balls by yes. almost just kind of spinning. Uh, so I love this match strategy that you have that you really go back and forth so quickly. It was great too. Isaac, I got to ask you on your robot. Uh, talk to me about uh, you guys have a really cool drop down, and then uh, also as well too from your base motors. Walk me through uh, how those are working on your bot. Yeah. So our drop down mech is something that we use for our uh, shooting and matches. And so when we drop this down, um, these standoffs right here go into the match load zone. And when this is activated, teams can't push us around as well because uh, we'll just continue stay t uh, continue to touch the match load zone. And um, this makes sure they can't push us to the other side of the field. And then also it is used in Auton to de-score tri balls, uh, which helps get us the win point. Um, and so for this, we just use um, oops, we just use a piston right here uh, attached to a screw joint, and when activated, uh, just like that. And then for our base, we use uh, four 11 watt motors and two 5.5 watt motors. And the 5.5 watt motors are right under here, and they're a three to one ratio on the base. And so because of um, because we wanted to have more than a four motor base to give us more uh, strength, um, we had we um, used two 5.5 watt motors and geared them uh, faster because they're 200 RPM naturally. Well, Speed of Light looking absolutely phenomenal uh, here at Haunted. Of course, we wish you uh, best of luck in this event and can't wait to see what you bring for the rest of the season. Well, thanks for, for telling us more about your robot. Thank you. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. The Robotics Education and Competition Foundation provides fantastic programs for students from elementary school all the way through college. These include VEX, Aerial Drone Competition, Online Challenges, JROTC, Girl Powered, Scholarships, Certifications, and so much more. To discover these exciting opportunities, visit RECF.org and get connected. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Most live shows can be found on the First Updates Now YouTube channel, live competitions at twitch.tv slash firstupdatesnow, and join our Discord at discord.gg slash firstupdatesnow. Check our other social offerings on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter.